What's up, everybody? From the realest ninja on the internet. How you doing? How you doing? As you can see today, we got the warning sign out because this video was definitely disturbing. It's a 65-year-old black lady who found some money in the store, and she was attacked by the staff members for that money. As I always say, you don't know me enough to listen to me talk, so let's get to it. This happened in Austin County. Video shows Miss Betty Smith get into a scuffle with three now former store employees. The deputy cuffs her granddaughter while her special needs son waited in the car. They tell me they want a better response from the sheriff's office and didn't hear anything from them until we called. I'm 65 years old and I ain't never been to jail in my life. And some of the people that, that, that got it out there, they had me in there being held captive because I had robbed and stole something out of the store. See, I don't like my name and that kind of stuff. And I can second that because I'm black. And us black people, we don't like our names wrapped up in none of that stuff. <laughs> but she's serious. But, yeah, and as far as I knew, I checked yesterday. I didn't check at the time of shooting this video. There was no charges filed in this case. But, like I say, let's get to it. Smith was taking her daily trip to Lindemann's grocery store in industry, grabbing ice cream for her son when she believes her good day turned into a great one. I saw a $50 bill on the floor. And I told the cashier, I said, look at him, my lucky day. That's when she says the cashier tells Miss Smith the cash might belong. She did as we all do. We, we pick up something we find, but where you messed up, Auntie is... Man, you should have picked that up and just kept it moving. Next time you know, don't even say nothing. To a friend of theirs and demanded her to leave it there. She was the only customer in the store. As Miss Smith tried to leave with it, video shows her being stopped by three of the store employees. One of them rips. Now listen. I don't know who related to Auntie. And I'm in the YouTube program, so I do not promote violence, but. If I seen some people on a video grabbing my auntie, my sister, my cousin, family member, if I'm on the scene of this, it's going down. So I don't know. I need to see some news, Texas. I need to see some news clippings of what happened to these three people. But on this channel, we do not promote violence money out of her hands she's then shoved and restrained i was especially scared of the, of the one in the pink i mean because she had me as you should miss auntie betty smith she was all in my ear you black <laughs> you're not getting out of here by now she's called her granddaughter who jumped out of her shower to come and help look she got a grandbaby out there worse. the police officer came one of the girls slid out of the door hey purple when she here slid out hey she baby reached around her and i said get out in front of the door let her out of here destiny seen in her bathrobe gets handcuffed by the responding deputy he also later arrests destiny's mother who showed up minutes later and was charged with assaulting one of the clerks the family now let's go back real quick real quick i got you i got you now you see see Prior to this, you see the white lady look back. She notices the cop coming. So she antagonizes the black girl and she touches the black girl. And what you see is the black girl pushing her off. So, of course, the white cop comes to the rescue and the little black girl in her robe. Let's go. You coming with me? was charged with assaulting one of the clerks. No the questions asked. Look, no questions asked. Statements from them or tried to de-escalate the matter. The store owner has tried to rectify the situation, offering to pay her daughter's bail, even giving her the $50. Now you want to pay somebody bail and give them the $50. Come on, bro. How about give them your store and everything you own? Because when that lawyer done, that's what's going to happen. She declined those offers. I feel like As she should. All three of the clerks are fired, but the family wants them arrested. Why would they do this to her? Why would they think it was okay to take it that far? Like, every, pro every thought process in there, from locking her in there, assaulting her, the words they use, the racial slurs, I just would want to know why. 
I spoke with Sheriff Jack Brandis, who says statements, video, and even body cam footage have been forwarded to their county DA's office for consideration of potential charges against these former store employees. The store manager also spoke to me. He says they terminated those involved immediately and does not condone the way they acted there. Caroline? Y'all people in America, y'all getting out of out of hand, it's getting crazy, and you know, I'm not even gonna add a race, we all getting out of crazy, you're all racist, but you know how I say it, if you're a supporter of the channel, much love and respect, if you a hater, cut the shit.